Hi everybody! Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the kitchen, I've come again to steal your cooking oil! Because I'm in a constant search for a heating system that is simple, cheap and effective. This stuff, of course, is actually quite expensive now, but you can buy it second hand for 5 or 10 pence a litre. And of course, if you're cooking with this stuff, you already have some second hand that you basically throw away, so why not use it? But that's what I'm looking at. Vegetable oils and used motor oil heaters. Now, ever seen this stuff? This is strapping. It's used for uh, jointing roof timbers, joists, that kind of thing. And this particular one is 40 millimeters wide by two millimeters thick. And you might notice all of these holes. All we've got to do is cut ourselves the length of this. Once you've cut it, bend it. And when you've bent it over, that's what you get, like a T-shape. This, believe it or not, is a wick holder. Now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you'll know I prefer this stuff, with this, which is activated carbon felt. Uh, you can buy it in all kinds of ways, but as a wick holder, loads of things will do. Uh, cotton balls, old bandages, even toilet paper will do it. But you slide your wick in there and trim it off. What I've got here is the top of a sugar storage canister. Let's put some vegetable oil in. I'm using neat vegetable oil for demonstration. Remember, you can use old vegetable oil. And we just drop our wick in there and give it a little bit to soak up. And then we can set it alight. A great way to get these heavy oils going, actually, is to put a little bit of ethanol on the top of the wick. And that starts it going. How about that? That is a surprisingly smokeless flame for vegetable oil. I mean, it's still got a bit of smoke to it, but it's surprisingly smoke-free. Now, they say it's because of these holes in the strapping, which is sucking air in along with the oil, creating a more smokeless or a less smoky flame. I don't know. But, pretty cool. Of course, the thing I've got to do now is try it with a mantle. After all, aren't I Mr. Mantle? In order to do that, I'm going to take another bit of the strapping, cut it off and bend it round. And there it is, and that fits on there like that. Now we can bend some gauze round. So that goes in there. And that goes on there. <laughs> That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? <laughs> so one more little addition I'd like to make to that, and that is this, which is a kitchen utensils holder. It's stainless steel and full of holes, and I'd like to put that on there. So we can see how it does. Okay, I know I judged it up a bit there. But actually, that's surprisingly clean for what it was. So, that's worked a treat. I mean, I know those extra bits. Eh. The heart of it is this thing here. The idea of having holes in the wick holder so that as the wick burns and it's drawing the oil up through it, it's pulling air in as well. Now, obviously, I made this ring so we had an air inlet at the bottom when I put the cap on it. But that, or the amount of heat that's giving out, is directly related to the wick size. And I'm tempted to make that into a whole circular wick. So, get another um, circular piece that's a few millimetres smaller, slide it in, put a circular wick in, and then drop that into some oil and we'll have quite a wick there actually we should get quite a lot of heat but that got reasonably warm and the amount that it smokes is um, noticeably far less the whole place doesn't smell like a chip shop for a start anyway i hope you enjoyed the video i hope such a simple thing would really help somebody and thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe